Coming up today on That Stupid Podcast, episode train wreck. It's our first show. We're talking about the top five movies of 2013 for geeks. We got an interview with Tammy Espinoza. We're going to talk about geek culture and what women do in geek culture and how they're treated. We also talked about things we lost and things we gained in geek culture. Do you like Google Reader? Aw, I has a thad. Hey everybody, it's That Stupid Podcast. Rev here. I got my buddy RJ. Say hey, hey, say hey to everybody, RJ. Hey guys, my name's Ashton Red Jeans Graves. You can call me RJ. So, my name is actually Steve. Obviously, it's not Rev, because, I mean, I don't think anybody's born Rev, because that would be weird. Um, you can read a lot about how I got my nickname, but essentially, the quick version, I'm ordained. I got ordained on the internet, and yeah, that happened. So, my background's pretty simple. I've been everything from literally a janitor to a DJ to a technician to a security administrator for a multi-million dollar software company, and now I make podcasts in a bar. He's also a clown on the weekends, yes. but uh, trust me, he doesn't do the normal kind of balloon I'm animal a, stuff. I'm a sad, perverted <laughs> porno clown. Until you've seen a dildo made out of balloons, you yeah, don't even know. It's true. So, so, we're shooting our very first podcast here at Green's Tavern in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, we got a few people watching us today. We're very sad to see them because... Well, I think they're very sad to see us. Yes, Personally, they're like, right. oh, they're, they're going to be a fucking train wreck. Very sad to see us because this is going to be an absolute train wreck. So I hope you guys like the... Uh atmosphere-esque yeah. stuff. <laughs> you know what? I like the atmosphere mostly because I'm having a, a delicious beer at the moment. And I'm able to sit here, uh, uh, talk to my friend Steven here, uh, talk to Rev, and and really just get down on it. So I, I heard that you wanted to talk about Paul Walker. I do want to talk about Paul Walker. So obviously... Unless you've lived under a rock or in a cave with your hands over your eyes, your thumbs in your ears, um, you know Paul Walker died recently, was in a really tragic car accident. Um, if you've seen pictures, it's actually amazing the amount of damage that was done to that Carrera. It was trashed. So the, the thing I want to talk about specifically really isn't Paul Walker so much, except it is. And what I mean, the next day or even the day of, right? You get on, first thing you see on Facebook, uh, the MAME generators were just going strong, you know. And for the first time, and this is coming from someone who doesn't talk about celebrities, it kind of pissed me off. i got to be honest with you. And I usually don't care. I, I Well, maybe not care is a strong term, but for the most part, it doesn't matter to me. I don't talk about celebrities. I don't, you know, I don't keep up with the Kardashians or any of that. But I wanted to talk about Paul Walker because the biggest thing about Paul Walker is you don't know much about Paul Walker because he kept to himself. He wasn't limelight, crazy drunk Lindsay Lohan in a bar with Amanda Bynes with snorting cocaine off a stripper's tits. I guess my biggest problem <clears throat> about it is not just the fact that Paul Walker stayed out of the spotlight or anything like that. My general problem with it is, and I, I'm horrible about this, I know it, I'm guilty myself, otherwise I wouldn't complain. Internet sensitivity, especially as far as everything goes, on the internet, John Gabriel's anonymity theory. Um, when you have a crowd of people, you're anonymous, nobody knows who you are, you're going to make an ass out of yourself. Right. Shitcock is going to come out of your mouth. It's going to be bad. And the biggest problem is that not even a few hours after the news broke, people were making jokes about it. Right. <clears throat> now, he's not innocent by any means because as it's sure. just come to light he was apparently dating a 16 year old in hawaii don't worry age of consent there is 16 don't uh -huh. get any ideas creepy internet people point being is that there are some people that, that jokes you, you just got to be careful about what you do on the internet and i know that we've got stuff like reddit and we've got youtube comments although they're trying to go back and fix all that point being is don't be a jerk I mean, that, that's just a life rule. I don't care if you're on the internet. I don't care if you're anonymous. Don't be a dick. Class it up, Facebook. Class it up. Agreed. All right. Hey, guys. It's uh, RJ and Rev here. We are actually doing the first podcast from Green's Tavern in Knoxville, Tennessee. Now, if you're in Knoxville, you're looking for a bar, you're looking for a very... Actually, I can't even call this place a bar. This is a pub. This is a straight-up pub. You're straight taking a pub. step out of every sports bar, every shitty, hey, bro, let's go take some shots place you've ever been to in your All life. All right, man. Yeah. <laughs> party on Wayne. Party on Garth. That's right. Uh, you will find no pop collars here. Right. You'll find nothing. Except a Cards whole, Against Humanity. You card, will find that here. I wish we could show you that there's a I'm giant... Just, 
area. Oh, board games, Cards Against Humanity, everything you could yeah. want to play here. They risk. Can, I mean, risk. Yeah. Trivial Pursuit. Pretty much this is a wall filled of friendship oh. ending games, which is good. But they have Walking Dead Nights here. They have uh, yeah. Doctor Who Nights here. And they also have 50, uh, over 50 beers uh, in bottles, plus they have a whole line of taps. Anya and Jeff run this yeah. place. They're great. They are super experienced, and they will treat you right. And if you so, like bratwurst, seriously? Oh, it's not just bratwurst. Everything oh, here is homemade stroganoff? food. Oh, my God. Stroganoff, spaghetti. It's, the menu it's constantly changes. At least go give them a like on Facebook. It's Green's Tavern. Look them up, Knoxville, Tennessee. Thanks, guys. Deuces. So one of the biggest things that's... I don't know. And this, I, I'm going to go back to, I used to call, have a segment on a radio station back in the Tri-Cities called Angry Steve. Oh, God. Yeah. So every morning on my commute, actually, I, I wasn't working for this radio station. This was after I was out of radio. Mm -hmm. But I used to call in and just, I would go off on a tyrant. I had a 45-minute commute. And, of course, every day they would have some vapid, stupid insert person type here, calling about some first world bullshit problem and it drove me crazy and I would just call it hashtag. Hit, yeah. hashtag. Nice. Very good. So, what I want to talk about is, let me Snopes that for you. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to call this segment. Alright. So, you get on the internet, you Facebook, you read, and you know, of course, you see all the, if you don't like Jesus, don't like this photo and burn in hell and I'll, I'll ignore it. No, my that. favorite is if you love if you love your grandma, like this photo. If right. you don't love your grandma and want her to burn in pit of acid, right, exactly. do not like this yeah. photo. Or don't share this if you don't. Yeah, you know. but and I ignore those for the most part. The ones I can't ignore, the ones that that just curdle the skin all the way to my bone. Mm. There was one, and this one I'm going to pick very particularly, uh, was about two weeks ago. It came up again, and this has been since I uh, God, I don't know, since the internet started. Don't flash your fla don't flash your headlights. Was the was yeah, the the, title. The, oh, the old urban legend? Right. Of, if you flash your headlights at somebody, you're going to get murdered. Right. You're going to get you're going to get murdered. They're and just going to ram their car into That's you right. and you're dead. So here's the here's the thing, right? So we, I'm sure we all know this story, but for those four people on the internet that don't know this story, it's very simple. Gang initiation week. They're oh, driving no. around without their headlights on. Right? Because that's smart and safe. Right. And, of course, you as the concerned, courteous citizen, what are you going to do? You're going to give a little tap-tap on the flashers. You're going to flash them. They're going to do a drive-by and murder you. Yeah, I was going to say, now, now you're in the crypts. That's yeah. how it works. So, it's not true. It, 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 it and a thousand other pieces of complete crap that you read on Facebook. I know it's hard to believe. No. It's not true. D don't tell me that everything on Facebook is not true. I know. I know. It's, it's hard to believe, but it's, you know. So, this just drives me absolute batshit crazy. So uh, you were ta you were talking before the show that there was something specific that you wanted to talk to along this line. My sir. biggest my biggest one, and this is the one that I've seen for uh, a while, and it's been going around Facebook a lot recently, is when people post the picture yep. of a receipt that's obviously from 20 years oh, ago. Oh Jesus! And they're Christ. like, "Be careful when you go to Walmart because people will ring up twenty dollars and you'll never see it on your receipt." Yeah. I, I, okay, don't yeah. get me wrong. There is. Yeah. Some legitimacy to this, because back when debit cards were first invented, you could ring up purchases that didn't appear on the receipt. Right. Now, mind you, this is way back in the day. This is like 97, 98, when debit cards was, like, technically they were credit cards. Or for those of you on Facebook, <clears throat> before you were born. Absolutely. Uh, if you don't know what a rotor rotary phone is, you won't know what the hell we're talking about. Point being... What's a rotary phone? <laughs> exactly. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. You guys just use, use tin cans and a, sta a string. <laughs> was, but... Um, the biggest, the, the biggest, his walker's actually behind the camera. You can't see it. Uh, not his Paul Walker, but... Um, oh, mm, oh, see. We just, and see, that's a good example. But point being, uh, the thing about it is, if, if you make any transaction whatsoever on a debit card system now, you're the one who has to choose it. They don't have anything magic on a screen. I don't know if you've ever worked at Walmart, but it is like the ghettoest of POS, and I don't mean piece of shit, I mean point of sale systems you've ever used in They're your life. They're interchangeable, actually. I mean, it really is the truth. I, you know, I've never worked at Walmart, but I, I did actually oh, once upon bad. a time, I did once upon a time do a NCR, it's National Cash Register, that is the provider of most of their hardware, and uh, I was doing a contract replacing motherboards and Walmart terminals once. I guess my biggest problem on. is that every time I see that picture posted, yeah. somebody claims that that happened to oh, them absolutely. like a day ago. This so totally happened to me yesterday, man. This is one of those things. This is why you don't do drugs because yeah. you'd be like, man, where'd that $20 come from? Oh, yeah, that's what you went up to pick a dime bag with, okay? You spin it. Otherwise, it's not going to appear on the receipt. And this is the generic Facebook-esque yeah. stuff. So, so what's, what's one of your favorite Snopes uh, Mysteries, I would say. Mis mysteries of the internet. Oh, my God. You know, there's just too many. 
You know, and I actually wrote a few down, and I'm going to read just... I'm, I'm, give me one. I'm, just give me I'm, Just give me one. We're going to talk about that nice piece of hardware he's holding in his hand later. So, it's it's a new one, but the uh, Paris Hilton uh, Nelson Mandela tweet. I didn't know anything about this one. I can't believe you missed it. I missed this. it. So, of course, sad, you know, Nelson Mandela died, and for those people who have no idea who he is... Um, wasn't that the, the black guy on Star Trek? Yes. Okay. May, may God have mercy on your soul. But essentially, Nelson Mandela died, and there was this alleged tweet. By the way, it wasn't a tweet. It wasn't even a hack of her account. It was, it, there's this thing. It's called Photoshop, ah. which we'll talk about later. But somebody put what looked like a Paris Hilton tweet, well, a picture of a tweet. Now, anytime someone, and this is where I'm going to stop, anytime someone puts a picture of a tweet, Take two seconds to think. Why the fuck didn't they, why just didn't link they link the tweet? It? Yeah, yeah. Why, why, it's, I mean, it's all Twitter. If, it's, it, if it's a celebrity, it's going to be public. Yeah. So basically, she allegedly said, you know, I, I Nelson Mandela is so sad that it, uh, I really loved your, uh, I have a dream speech. Oh. So the idea so the was MLK mix up. Yeah. Yeah. So it was an MLK Nelson Mandela. It's all hundred percent crap. Really, the thing is, I didn't know about the the Paris Hilton Nelson Mandela shenanigans. But to be fair with you. Please stop being stupid on the internet, please. And, and it's not—it's not people our age. Well, it might be people your age. Uh, <laughs> Birds. Um, but seriously, don't let your parents on the internet. And if you do let your parents on the internet, don't let them believe everything that they hear on the internet because apparently it's true. I'm even a hand model. He does have sexy hands. No, I don't. Well, I mean, after eleven. Wink. We want to talk to you about we want to talk to you about uh, geeky Christmas gifts. Getting crappy gifts for Christmas. I'm a geek. Yeah, I, I, I like gifts. I love gifts. I love free mm. stuff actually. So feel free to buy me things if you want to. Wink, or don't. Uh, but the thing about it is, is a lot of people wonder. Oh, I got a friend who's a geek. He's a nerd. He's a thing. He's a buh. Uh, where do I go to get things for him? Well, I've got uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four websites. For you to choose. Oh my God! That's a lot of websites. Four websites? No, you would be like. Oh, it's only four. There can't be that much stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. I gullet laugh at you. Here's why. Uh oh. The first oh. website is going to be the most popular one, which you might have heard about. I've been using this site since 2005. It's called ThinkGeek.com. They have everything you could want. They got Doctor Who, Big Bang Theory, Star Wars, Minecraft, Portal, Star Trek, Game of Thrones, Marvel, anything and everything. Even if you just want to go and pick up some silly office stuff for yourself, posters, uh, a I ring love, thing. You. You can't not like this website. They've sure. been doing this longer than anybody on the internet, as far as I know. They've uh, they've taken a lot of my hard earned money. I got to be oh. honest with you. I spend at least three four hundred dollars. Do you like Doctor Who? Think Geek is a good place to go. Absolutely. Right. The biggest thing about it is not only is it that it's a clean website. You can always find exactly what yep. you want. They've categorized it these days to an nth degree where you can find exactly what you want. Make sure to drop by there. If you yeah. have a boyfriend who is a nerd, if you have a, a husband who's a nerd, if you have a, a or lonely, a girlfriend or a yeah, wife, or, yeah, to be uh, fair. or a lonely patron that you just know and he's sad in the corner mm. somewhere crying, eating ice cream, watching Lifetime Channel, but enough about what I do at night. Yeah. Um, make sure to stop by that website. Another one that is great is so. What's your favorite Think <clears throat> Geek gift? Oh just, my I mean, favorite! If you had to pick one thing from Think Geek, like ah, oh, uh, what would it be? I'll be honest with you. One of the first things that ThinkGeek ever put out that I wanted really bad and still don't have to this day is a replica lightsaber. I want uh, one of those. I like the they're, lightsaber. They're a lot cheaper than they I were when like they came out. When they came out, they were like $300. I know. And now they're like 100 bucks. You know, I don't have a lightsaber, but I do have a replica Star Trek phaser. Oh, I, that's what I almost bought Beth last year. Yeah. Because, so. And then they sold out of them before I, I could get around to it. But Precious. No, seriously. They're amazing. Good stuff. Um, another website that we want to talk about if you have somebody who likes very weird stuff or just kind of cool stuff, um, it's definitely specialized, is theawesomer.com. They have their own shop, but they constantly link to other websites that are Kickstarters, that are um, very independent people. You're not going to buy from a big company if you're buying from The Awesomer. It's all startups. It's all independent nice. artists. It, yeah, you're not, you're so not like handing internet, money to Walmart. Internet, internet version of a small business. <clears throat> Absolutely. Like it, this, it. Is, this is a promotion of just small businesses. Um, for example, they have black playing cards. That may not seem cool to you, but if you've got that goth kid in your life, you know you want to fucking give him something. I have a deck of cards, not black cards, but I have a deck of cards that's uh, they're programming inspired. So each each card is expressed <clears throat> with a, a is expression of code. 
It's everything. C okay. Sharp, SQL, v, VB, uh, script. I've seen the Pearl. HTML cards. Yeah, there's there's a specific everything. deck. If you're a web programmer out there, it. you would you would die. Yeah. Um, Another thing is they have the pickpocket, which is a multiple uh, piece. It's a multiple tool piece, yep. and it will let you open a lot of things. And nice. it goes on your key ring. It's about this big. They have the 50 caliber bullet bottle opener, where people have taken shells, they've de-armed them, use it a bottle opener. And one of my favorites that I've seen lately is the shit I gotta get done notebook. Uh, I like uh, it already. And, well, it's the shit I, I, like I gotta f and get done notebook. Nice. And um, the biggest thing is literally it's just a little notebook. No big deal for those people in, in your life that still carry around pen and paper because there's a lot of those. I Sad. mean, I still do it a lot it's at true. work. Sad. Um, yeah. And that's what it says. And it's got a fantastic font on the, the cover. It's that is a very, it's cool a very well notebook. Very cool. Um, the third site, but not the last one, this is probably one of the last variety websites I want to talk about, is this is why I'm broke.com. Trust me, just go there. Yeah. Anything you could ever want is listed there. If you go there, chances are. I want you to have three-fourths of your Christmas shopping done, because if you don't, you're going to end up buying everything on that website. I know, because I've gotten lost on there for a couple hours, and then realized, yep. oh, my bank account's empty. Mm, this is why I'm broke. <sighs> Dot com. Nice. Dot com. Dot com. But seriously, for example, if you've got a camera lover, a, a camera enthusiast, they have the camera lens mug. It looks like a giant telescoping lens. They've yeah. got the bat Batman brake light covers, which, I mean, you've been doing stuff to your car. What's up? You going to get a little bit of that action? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <clears throat> They got the color changing shower head. Uh, if you've got that raver lover in For your life, for the record, my car is devoted to Serenity. And it Firefly. is. He's 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 so a when they come out with the fucking Serenity, so. uh, you know, why I'm wearing ship. a Firefly in a jar. So Sub Zero MacBook sticker. It is literally Sub Zero doing this to to, oh. to do his ice and then wear your Apple lights up on the back. Nice. It's it's great, and they have a bunch of those. My favorite sticker for that, not in that category okay. of stickers, I, not that I have one. Um, it's Snow White. Oh yes, holding the, the apple. apple. <laughs> I, I, it's just—it's it, like, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? It's Absolutely. Clever, you know. Well, you do you own any of the Doctor Who uh, remotes? I do not. I've got I've got you know the non remote version the of the ones. yeah the of toys the, of the tool you know the because we're twelve screwdriver but yeah and, you know and I got my TARDIS hat and you've got a lot of memorabilia. Well, another one no. if you have a Harry Potter fan in your life and this isn't very expensive. It's about ninety bucks plus tax plus shipping etc cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's a Magic Wand TV remote. Oh, I love these. And you can do this yep. this to change channels. So if you have a Minority Report lover slash Harry Potter fan, you know, they can do stuff. You know, stuff. they read a lot of Harry Potter erotica, for example. I'm not pointing names or anything, but the person off camera you can't see is probably reading smut right now. Yeah. Anyways. I think she just gave you the bird. It's good. It's good smut. <laughs> oh, see, look at that. Apparently it's really good smut. The, the last one I want to discuss, because I, and I know you do, I know you love t-shirts. I hate t-shirts. T-shirts suck. He hates t-shirts and has three closets. I, I have, yeah, I've, I've, I, I probably have a thousand t-shirts, and that's not... That's not even a joke. He's yeah. not overestimating. He's yeah. not sitting there going, there were a thousand firemen outside. Were there? Were there a thousand? Really? No, a thousand? literally he has like a thousand yeah. t-shirts. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's $6shirts.com. They're an independent printing company. They've been around the internet for, I'd say, at least in, since 2008 was when I made my and first if you purchase. order as many as I do, they're only $5 shirts. That's the biggest thing. You order 10 or more, uh, 10 is the cutoff, the base cutoff. Right. Free shipping, and they take ten dollars off. So ten shirts. So if you're gonna buy bucks, nine, you buy ten, and you actually save six dollars, and you get ten shirts. Instead of I know nine. you know at least ten people, like, or you know five people that want two shirts. Or there's ten shirts that you're like, oh my god, I got to get that for yeah. myself. I actually last not last <laughs> week, a couple weeks ago, I bought another ten shirts. I got uh, NASA because I like the vintage NASA Absolutely. shirt. Absolutely. I got um, there's an '80s movie with Judge Reinhold and Danny DeVito. Um, this is Speaker City, right? Was yeah, Speaker the Speaker City? City shirt. Yep, where he he works. Actually, he sells the M1000 I'm, speakers. I'm currently wearing a six dollars shirt right now. It's nice. uh, hang on, I'm not trying to do product placement. Don't, don't send me free stuff or anything. But we're about to get down on this. This is uh, this is the Death shirt from Six Dollar Shirts. Uh, shirt. It is actually in their line of cards that they have. They oh, have. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, what are they called? Those cards? Um, they're not fortune cards. They're uh, no. tarot they cards. Sell, they're tarot they also cards. sell yeah. stickers and stuff too. So it's not all just. Well, they've shirts, opened right? up their stuff. Now yeah. they sell uh, sweat hooded sweatshirts, vintage right. sunglasses. Yep. They do uh, bumper stickers. They got all sorts yep. of posters. Even. Yep. I got corned beef hashtag. <clears throat> oh wow, that's a oh, so can God. of corned beef spray paint and hashtag. I mean, come on. Yeah, but uh, they also, if, if you guys have internet video friendly uh, friends, one of the biggest sellers right now is the What Does the Fox Say shirt. 
and it's a picture of a fox with all the different sayings around it, and it sold hugely when yeah. they released it. It was a big uh-huh. deal. So, but that's that's some geek gifts. Stephen, what, do you have anything for me on geek gifts? You know, I do actually. Um, a couple different sites. First, with t-shirts, a little bit. A couple you didn't mention. Uh, Jinx.com. All right. I love Jinx shirts. Uh, if you're into World of Warcraft, they're great. For I mean, World tons of World of Warcraft, shirts, of Warcraft shirts. They also have a lot of stickers too. Like I used to buy a lot of, uh, like you know. Uh, Things like I void warranties that on stickers, you know, kind of nerdy. You don't have things. to put them on your car either. You can put no, them. No, no. I've got my, my, my laptop. Guitar, my I mean, laptop. I mean, so you can see what's he's going got, on there. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 laptop sticker crazy. Uh, and then another one, while not a geek site specifically, they tend to cater to geek shirts because that's the community that's that's. Are that's you going to talk about deals? Not deals, but one of their other sites, shirt shirt dot woot dot com. Um, I have. I don't know how many, and this is how much. You want how much geek well, I am? Well, that's where you bought everything from Most before you. Before yeah, you. Before I found T-shirt Bordello yeah. and Jinx and all these other places. Yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, and I still buy from from shirt dot wood. Absolutely. I don't know how much money I've spent unless I pull it up. And this we is don't want to look a, at that number. This it's is how much number. of a nerd I am, though. I have an Excel spreadsheet of all of my Woot purchases. Across and it's categorized across sites. I actually have a pie chart and everything. Like, I don't even know you anymore. I know. I'm an, uh, you know, what, what can I say? But I've probably bought about 100 to 150 shirts from Woot, I think, over the past four or five years. <laughs> that's, maybe. I mean, that's a lot of shirts, man. It's a lot of shirts, but they're awesome. The shirts are absolutely awesome. So I think for shirts, those are mine. Um, Think Geek's definitely on the top of my list just because it's Think Geek and I've bought a lot of stuff. I have, I have a, a TARDIS mug. Love my TARDIS mug. I got that from Think Geek. Uh, is I'm that the TARDIS. disappearing, reappearing mug? No, oh, no. I have that no, one. I oh, have, you have the actual I one the that's actual molded TARDIS like mug. a... Okay. Now, the one you're talking that's, about... No, but that's great for... A friend for of mine bought, I bought a pair of those for me. Um, out of the blue. I, I was helping her with some I stuff. I love and that I got, thing. I got this box in the mail. I was like, Qua? I opened the box, and it was two TARDIS mugs. And they go and they get kind of like... You remember the old... It, it, it like immediately threw me back to, and some of you are too young to remember these, the old Coke Color glasses. Chip. Oh, and the, and then the, and then the seven the, you know the bottle the Coke shaped bottle and then Seven Up came out with a glass that was like the opposite it was upside down of that it was and when you put cold fluid in it it would it would bubble up so mm-hmm. um, I immediately throw back that but yeah I think Geek's definitely top of my list for that reason um, and, and I don't know from there I mean I, it's the last the last site that I want to talk about if you are a big T-shirt purchaser you know somebody is make sure that they go to T-shirtspotlight.com oh. if you don't have yeah. a lot of time during your day like I know I don't you probably do considering all you do is like watch Netflix and like Tattooed girls on I Facebook. Watch, I watch Netflix, and I, I like tattooed girls on Flip. That's Actually, really, Instagram, that's, too, though. To be fair, I also like them on Instagram. He does. Ta- if you're a tattooed so. lady, please call him. Uh, we actually have a number that you can call and leave all your nudie pictures 480 stupid 9 There you go, because we're dumb as hell. We're dumb as hell. But it's t-shirtspotlight.com. It takes all the t-shirts, uh, websites across the internet for every day and reloads everything on the page. It's super easy. You click it. You go there. They even, on, on when you go to click it, they put the coupon code in for you if there is one. Wow! To save money, you it's like it's it. like fat wallet for t-shirts. Bingo! So, all right, I think uh, I think we we good for I this like one. It. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So Boo. hey, and buy me a gift. Buy him a gift. No, don't don't. I'm we're kidding. Uh, just take me to strip. Club. Well, of course you want to. So we actually have a guest on our first podcast. This is Tammy. Say hi. Hello. Internet, Tammy. Tammy. Internet. Yep. <clears throat> now. The reason I brought Tammy on is I, one of the things I've really been wanting to talk about is uh, girls in fandom or girls in geekdom or girls in geek culture, however you want to say it. Um, you know, chicks. I'm going to be sexist for a reason because I need to make a point. What is with a double standard of girls in geek culture? And, and here's what I mean by that. I've typically found that in most walks of life, People who would associate themselves with geek culture tend to be very open-minded. They tend to be very progressive. You'd agree with that? Yeah. Except when it comes to girls in their own culture. That is true. So, you know, you go to Dragon Con, for example, and you've got a girl that's dressed up like, you know, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, for example. Yeah, but doing the cross-gender thing to where it's a chick Scorpion. Right, right. Which is hot as shit. Well, oh, no, I, I'm into that. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but... Like, all the guys will just immediately kind of push her off. You know, the, the, the comments that I usually hear are, well, you're just doing it to X. Or, you know, insert whatever the reason here. Or you're not really serious. Or, you know, or you're just doing it to prove that you're not really, you know, like, no. Look, guys, if you're that stupid to start with, girls don't do cosplay to impress you. Just, 
I don't know if you were aware of that or not. That's not what it's about. They do it because they enjoy it. They do it for the same reason you do it. And, and that's what I don't understand. It's so, a lot of fun. Well, yeah, absolutely it's a lot of fun. So why do you think, I mean, I want to I give my perspective in a minute, but actually kind of I'm glad you're here because I want to get your perspective why you think guys tend to look down on yeah, they chicks treat doing cosplay chicks a, and all like, the geek Like a second class citizen in geek culture. I mean, that's the easiest way to say it. Quite honestly, when it comes to that, I feel that a lot of guys are purists. They want things to be pure. For example, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. They want to see a male Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. They don't want to see a sexual female interpretation of it. I do. I want to see I, a sexual female interpretation. I saw that, and it was actually quite lovely. Mm. Thank you, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. All right, that's fair. So you think, they're, you think they're, they want to be purists. Well, let me ask this then. So... By that definition, you think all they want to see is Wonder Woman, Catwoman, that kind of thing, not anything else? Even so, I don't think that they respect women as much in geek culture as they do m other men. Here's why I'm going to agree with you. And it's probably not the reason you think why I'm going to agree with you. Because I, don't, I, want to, I want to shift the focus a little bit and talk about not the actual women in geek culture for a minute, but the fandom, as in the characters created for geek culture. Mm. There is not one that I can think of any across in comic books, movies, fantasy books, novels, graphic, it doesn't matter. Women are, are in geek culture more sexually objectified than in any other culture anymore. Except maybe for the Victoria's Secrets catalog. Yeah. And that's a close second. So I guess if, if we're going to treat them in the stories in that as honestly a giant sex object, because that's how we're treating them. Yeah. Is that the problem? Are we now teaching these young boys? Because, I mean, you know, guys are getting into, into things like Dragon Con and Comic Con when they're 14, 15 years old. They're starting to go pretty young now, which is great. I love to see, look, the more geeks, the merrier. Yeah. But they've been exposed now for the larger portion of their life to highly sexualized women, which, by the way, highly sexualized women by itself, I don't necessarily think is a problem. I think it's how they're how they're sexualized. So they're just sexualized. They're not given any power. Right. Or they're not given power. They're not given intelligence. They're yeah. not given... They're just they're just hot chicks. And don't get me wrong. I like a hot chick. I mean, hot chick. But I want, like Tammy, I want a hot chick that's going to be able to have a conversation, too. So what do we have to do? What do we have to do in geek culture to fix that? Honestly, I don't think that there's any fixing it at this point. It's going really? to take time. More so than anything else. So then I guess the message to you future geek who are thinking about into the graphic novels? Wait a minute. Are we also including manga in this too? We can if you want. If we're including manga, they have recently started putting women in a more dominant role as far as sexualization. Even uh, Tomei. Okay. Which is from the Museum of Horrors. They make her as this very beautiful woman who turns out to be this serial murderess and also able to respawn nice. through others' bodies. Interesting. It's disgusting and beautiful. I think, I think about the closest, the closest to that is still a, a horrible, horrible, horrible movie. Um, and I can't believe I just forgot the name of it. Barbarella? No, it's a recent movie. Um, girls, the Five girls in an insane asylum... And they're all having visions of being in superpower and uh, sucker punch. Sucker punch. Thank you. I loved it. No, I like the movie, but the comic book was also really good. It was actually better than the movie. I, I don't doubt that. I, I haven't, I haven't read the comic. Novel, I'm sorry. Not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't read the. I haven't read the. Com I don't mind calling comic books. No, there's a. I know there's a difference. Yeah, but people what, get eh, very finicky get, about that. Don't don't send me hate mail. They're right. You send can send me hate mail. Show at thatstupidpodcast.com. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, but I, I didn't read the graphic novels. I did watch the movie, and I did, for the most part, enjoy the movie, except it still seemed to just be, even though it was nothing but women. So immediately people were talking about, well, it's it's a great movie for women. No, it's not a great movie for women. No. There wasn't one woman in that movie that was strong, powerful, or independent, or thought-provoking. or It was literally just half-naked chicks kicking ass. But there wasn't... It, and that's so it's like well we gave you a movie yeah no um, you didn't you didn't give us a movie it's uh, there was one I'm trying to remember it came out in the 80s um, uh, Sonya the Red it might be Sonya the Red where she was basically a barbarian slash um, 
She was not object. She was whatever the fuck uh, Wonder Woman is. Yeah, but she wasn't a, as objectified in no, there, and she was. She was a fucking lord. The remake of Joan of Arc with um, Mila. Yeah. So, if you, I, I don't, I wish I knew the name of the movie, but I wanted to bring up. There's a thing called the Bachtel test. Mm-hmm. You, I'm sure you've heard of it. Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's just a few questions. It's three simple questions, and I'm going to read them just so I don't get them wrong. First question is. The movie has to have at least two named women in it. That seems simple enough. Mm. Right? The second one is the movie has to have two named women in it that talk to each other. So now not just two women that have names that are in the movie. They actually have to talk to each other. And this is the important one. The third one. About something besides a man. Hmm. Now that those three sentences, those three questions don't sound like much, but this is an interesting test. And for those of you out here that think I'm just some weird, crazy dude trying to impress a hot girl, I'm not. Although maybe I am, but I'm not. Think about your favorite movie that you think a strong woman has a strong woman character in it, and ask yourself those three questions: Does this movie have two named women? Mm-hmm. Do they talk to each other at least yep. once? At least once, and is it about something other than a man? Yep. You'll be surprised how often you will not be able to answer yes to all three of those questions. And that is the problem. A lot of the movies I enjoy have all three of those. No, I'm, I'm not going to say, I, I'm not gonna say <laughs> there aren't bad movies. I'm yeah. just saying but that is one of the kind of guys. Remember, we're talking about young, impressionable boys for a minute. So this is what they're this is what they're seeing. This is being inbred to them. So when they grow yeah. up and they start reading, they start writing graphic novels. They just perpetuate that with similar storylines, right? Which is why kids, the younger boys, tend to make fun of the younger girls who want to do cosplay. It's this weird cycle. So, if the one piece of advice I had to give, it would be: Look, if you're thinking about writing graphic novels, just think about that for a minute. Yeah. Because there is a massive amount of female pure geek awesomeness out there. Yes, there and is. If you can touch that, I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make a lot of money. They will buy your books. They will buy your shirts. They will buy your whatever. So I think it's in your best interest, personally. And besides, a lot of the women nowadays who are in geekdom, they carry a lot of the funds. We make a lot of money through cosplay, making the makeup costumes. Well, so let's mm-hmm. talk about that specifically. Yeah. So now that since I didn't really introduce you that well, I don't think, and I should apologize for that. That's fine. Let's talk about who Tammy is, and you'll maybe now understand why I wanted her in this conversation. So give us just a, a brief, who is Tammy? I'm a 10-year veteran haunter. Um, my main haunt is Netherworld Haunted House. I work in monster makeup, costume building, also do burlesque. have been performing since I was three years old in singing, dancing, acting, and musical theater, and was the league in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Has an amazing Yitzhak. voice, is working on an album. Actually, mm-hmm. we should we should definitely mention that. And for those of you who don't know what the hell haunting is, if you've ever been to a Halloween haunted maze or haunted forest and had the crap scared out of you, it could have been her. Uh, women, uh, one of the first haunted attractions I ever worked in, I was told by one of the hiring managers that they don't normally hire women and they see them as not haunters, just as eye candy. Wow. I had that's two exactly years to prove the, myself. That's it unbelievable. It sucked. So, and you're, you're, you know, it's what I think is kind of awesome, and this is the group of people that I hang out with. You're actually not the only female haunter I know. I know. Which is awesome. It's kind of nice to be able to say that. Women haunters, uh, they're looked down on because so many guy haunters end up getting with them. They're seen as more of the side class. Oh, you go be in a boo hole. No. Right. Which is a subset. <laughs> which is a subset of everything that we were just talking about. Yeah. And that may just be the haunting, but it's the same thing. It's you're. It's you're, geekdom. Yeah, it's a type of geekdom. And you're being treated as a second-class citizen. That's not okay. They do that with announcers too, and burlesque. Normally, if that. you go to the shows, it's a male announcer. The main stage performer might be a female, but the announcer is going to be male. Wow. Same what, thing with the costuming. They get more of a. Um, what's the right words to put this in? When a male announcer comes out, people pay him more attention than they do a female announcer unless she's stripped down in nothing but a corset. Don't get me wrong. I, I would definitely pay more attention to you in a corset <laughs> than I would me, and I'm sure everybody else watching would agree. I'd pay more attention to you in a corset. <laughs> there you go. Well, I I don't think I have a response for that. i got to be honest with you. Um, I, I get announcing only in the sense that some you know male voices tend to carry more, but I can see and and 
this is coming from mm-hmm. someone. I've been, I was in radio. I've done voiceover. I've worked, with, so I've worked with a lot of female voiceover artists as well in in my day. There are reasons for both, because there are things that I could not do in voiceover because I didn't have a gentle enough voice, or and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna switch it up on you, a forceful enough voice. Because the thing about a man's voice is it's really neither one of those things, and a woman's voice tends to be both. So everybody has Depends their on own the pitch. It does, or the you know, but, but that's my point. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm just rambling on now. My, my, I guess my overall point is, stop, stop treating girls like shit. Yeah. Could, and could you, most of us could that? probably beat you in Halo and Team Fortress. Well, she can beat me in Halo and Team Fortress, but what she didn't say is she could also physically kick my ass. It's, she's done it. So. <laughs> well, Tammy, thank you very much. This thank was kind of awesome. Much, huh? So, wave goodbye to the internet. Bye, internet. So, it's that time of the show, that time of the year, because it is the end of the year, and I know it's only our first podcast, but I want to do a year in review of the top five awesomest geek movies that, that you saw, that I saw. Star Trek, Into Darkness. Is that your one? Is that your That's number one? That's my number one movie for the year. That's my number two. Ah, interesting. So my number one is your number two. Well, why wasn't it number one? What was the, what was what could have been better? I don't want to give it away, but okay, for Star Trek Into Darkness, oh, I absolutely look, loved it. By the way, we're going to talk about movies. There are going to be spoilers. Tough. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of how you I feel about it. You haven't seen Star Trek 2 by now. You're doing it wrong. Yeah. The thing about it I loved about that film, other than the fact that J.J. Abrams is an amazing director as far as it comes to Star Trek, I love the role reversal of Spock and Kirk. <coughs> a lot of okay, people got mad so about it. A lot of people were pissed, but when, when, when Kirk went into the reactor, I, 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 I got a little stiffy. Oh, dude, I got, I got a half chub rocking it all I day mean, long. And then of course, I was like, he's got to say con, he's got to say con, he's got to say con. And yeah, he fucking did it. It's like, yes! Oh. He threw down one of the most epic cons. Even William Shatner sitting in an audience somewhere was like, touche, salesman, touche. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it was. So I, I I completely agree. I like the movie for uh, an amalgam of reasons, and I'm gonna just hit a few of them. Give me. That's definitely one of the reasons. Bring it obviously. on down. But for me, I like the movie because <clears throat> first of all, and I gotta go back to the first Star Trek. He's movie. taking us to church right now. I am. I gotta go back to the first re- you know the first remake from a couple of years back. I saw it in the theater, and I remember walking out of the theater. And immediately wanting to walk right back in the theater and watch it again. Yep. And that doesn't happen very often with movies for I, me. Yeah, I generally don't rewatch movies, period. At, right. least a, at least a year needs to pass. I, I, I've, I don't know how many times I've seen the first Star Trek. And oh, now, I've and, seen and, it probably like at least ten times. Well, so, of course, the thing that pissed a lot of people off, I actually liked about the first Star Trek, and that was the fact that they said, Oh, uh, I love you, Gene Roddenberry, and I love your timeline, but... You know, and I actually like that because it gave us a complete ability to not have to worry about the eugenic wars, not have to worry about everything that went on, just start over, do what you want, have some fun. But it still left the actual stuff to be Exa- able to happen. Exactly. They did alternate timeline, and people got all butthurt about right. that, but the alternate timeline was the only choice that they could go exactly. with. Exactly. So that takes us to the second movie. I had to mention the first movie for a minute because it's part of why I liked Star Trek Two. So obviously I knew this movie was going to be about Khan because if they're going to do a Star Trek 2 and it wasn't about Khan, everyone would probably well, you murder know that they J.J. Said Abrams. That J.J. Abrams said right. that his biggest issue was the fact that they didn't tell anybody that's who Cumberbatch is playing, even right. though we all knew, we all knew it was that's Khan. who Cumberbatch I mean, is playing. It was obvious. Clearly. And let's talk about him for a minute. So, I, you know, I... I gotta admit, I, I'm kind of a, I, I'm kind of in love with Cumberbatch. I'm not, I'm not a Cumberbatch fan. I am. I saw Sherlock. I love was, that freaking show. Is I. Right. It was, uh, it was all right. See, it was good for BBC series, but everybody in Tumblr BBC is going to get all series. super mad right now. But Send all like your hate mail to this guy right this here. This guy right here. So. <clears throat> Red jeans at that stupid podcast.com. That's right. Point being, Cumberbatch's a great actor in that movie, yeah. and I think they picked the perfect person to be that in that role. Even uh, what was his? What was the guy's name who originally played Khan? Uh, Montoya or Montez or? You know the internet Montel is going to yell right now. Oh, I'm, so, I'm getting cr- so much anger right now. Out. I am I am trolling the nerd. Crying right. out. Wasn't it Patrick Stewart who played Khan? Yes, is that- it was Patrick Stewart who played Khan. You're absolutely right. So much butt hurt. <sighs> Point being, fantastic actor for that role, and I think he did a better <laughs> job as a modern Khan. I think he did. A, yeah. Well, I think he did a fantastic job. So I mean, so for me, going back, why I talk about the first movie is why I like the second movie, because they didn't do the Khan story even remotely the same. The whole foundation for <clears throat> Khan completely different. was completely different. We had a you know we had an admiral who followed him out. It was retcon that wasn't retcon, and that's what I loved about it. Yes, 
So you can change everything in this universe, and nobody can be carriage or exactly fucking. You can't. So I mean, other reasons I like the movie. The uh, the fact that they had the the experimental photon torpedoes full of dead people. Yep. I just thought that was kind of awesome. Genius. She absolutely genius. And the, oh, another reason I like the movie. RoboCop was a bad admiral. Damn right. I mean, come on. I mean, you, you had to go like immediately. Like, That's Alex Murphy. Yeah, not only was it Alex <laughs> Murphy, but if you were, so, we're going to talk about guest stars, you know yeah. who started it all off? Hmm. Mickey. Oh, yes. Mickey from Doctor Who yes. brought all of this yep. down on everyone's face. I it was know. done with him. Yep. And I saw it, and I was just like, okay, well, I don't know how I feel about this. It's the same way I felt about when I watched Arrow. I was like, okay, you're getting you're my Doctor Who and my other stuff, and yeah. I don't know how I... <laughs> your peanut butters and my chocolate, your chocolate... Hi, yeah. I'm Officer Reese's. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got your River Song in my Arrow. Get it out. Exactly. Uh, okay, what's, uh, what's your number two? All right, my number two behind that one is Pacific Rim. Loved it. So... Was that on your? Did that make your list? It didn't make my it list. Didn't make your list because so. you know I looked at your it's list hard. and I was like I don't want to make the same list. And it's hard to only come up with. Five. It was actually hard this year to only come up with five movies of I mean, so many. Like I was sitting. Oh, okay, before we started the show, I'm sitting here writing a big list of all the movies that were considerate. And and Rev here goes, you're not gonna. He was like, no, don't. He was like, you got like 20 movies there. And I was like, look, I'm just trying to just trying yeah, to base it out. I mean, really not easy. Let's be honest. <laughs> so Pacific Rim, for one reason and one reason only. I love Mech... And I know nobody else... Co- it's Mech Warrior. Come on. No, dude. It was G-Gundam. I know. Everybody says G-Gundam. For me, it was Mech Warrior. Mech Warriors weren't that big, and they didn't fight it kaiju. You're you're just... You're I'm too just young to appreciate Mech Warrior, I think. That's the problem. <laughs> no, because things I played when I was a child, I'm too young to understand that. <laughs> no, I like Pacific Rim because it was literally... I'm going to do a Johnny Eye for a minute unapologetically asinine. It was amazing. It was awesome. I mean, it was literally just an excuse for giant robots to kill giant squid-looking lizard things. And I was okay with that because the filmography for it, or, or the, the, cinematog- the cinematography Perfect. for it, Perfect. gorgeous. If you go back and watch that movie, you'll see a whole lot of color blend, and yeah. uh, Del Toro is, is known for his color blend stuff, yeah. where you'll you'll see, for example, the, the color of the uniform that she wears yep. is the same color of the dress, and they've got the shoe thing, and they, yep. it's like it's Absolutely. all over the place. His everything about his cinematography work, everything about the this means this, this means this. It's beautiful. Yeah. So and and the and the only there's only one small problem I had with the movie. <clears throat> only one small problem, and that was. Was it called the story? <laughs> no, because I didn't expect a plot, and the, which is probably why I liked the That's movie. That's probably true. But and this is a little bit going back to your get your river song out of my arrow thing. Get your Owen out of my Pacific Rim. So, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, there's a small spinoff several years ago called Torchwood, and uh, Captain Jack was all up came in there. over. Um, Owen was one of my favorite characters in that show. Until they put the murder on him. Until they killed him. Oh, did I ruin something for somebody? Oh, that was five years ago. Get over it. So, not you, them. High five. Bro. Highest of fives. So... But seeing Owen, who was this this unapologetic, whoremongering ladies' man from Torchwood. Why you got to call me out? That's not cool. Sorry. To this this geeky, pen-pushing, OCD scientist. It was just... Charlie it, Day was also in it. Hilarious. Yes. It was... It, oh, but it was really a great movie. And, like, at the end, to watch... Uh, Ron Perlman get eaten alive. Great, by, great, I mean, great I had, scene. I, the shoe thing. The, <laughs> the shoe thing. The shoe thing. The shoe. Th- if you if you've like, seen the movie, you're sitting there giggling to yourself because you know about yeah. the shoe thing. And like, if you're not, you're like, I thought they were gonna do spoilers. I don't know. No. We're not giving you that one. Yeah. Everybody gets one. <laughs> so what's your three? What's all your right, number, three? number three for me. The world's end. Mm. So first of all, I'm you might assigned. want to explain it because people might confuse it with this is the end. Right. It is not. This is the end. Which although great. I like that movie too. The World's End was the third in what is known as the, the Cornetto, Cornetto. Yeah, the Cornetto tr- Ice Cream trilogy. series. Right. Um, and if you don't know what the hell we're talking about, you need to go watch a movie called Shaun, Shaun of the, the Dead, Dead and Hot Fuzz. Thank you, you Hot Fuzz. Right now. Like, okay, oh, just out of curiosity, because yes. I know we're not going to talk a lot about it, because you guys okay. can go watch the movie. Yep. Uh, give me your three rundown. In, in the Cornetto series, what's your three rundown? You've got to give me three. Uh, yeah. I'll give you, you want to you know my three? Yeah. All right, believe it or not, it's, uh, this is the end. 
Okay. Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. I have the, I have the, I have the backwards order. You no. do have the backwards order. It, the That's third order was perfect as far as it, like... I liked it. I really did like the You can see where I'm Edgar gonna, Wright did his... You can. He built his evolution so, of storytelling. So I'm going to I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm not going to necessarily be in the right order, but I'm not going to be all backwards yeah. either. I'm going to put This is the End probably in the middle for okay. me. And the reason I'm putting it in the middle what's, what's is your because one Shaun of the Dead was the first one of the series that I saw... And it to me was kind of the st- and it's just fucking funny. I mean, it is it's it's great it's comedy of, wise. It's it's, it's the rom zom com. It is the rom it's the rom zom com. com. It's I mean, that's good. so for me, it's Shaun of the Dead. This is the end, and then Hot Fuzz. And that's not to say Hot Fuzz is a bad movie. You have to understand. I'm putting three amazingly awesome movies. It's in, super it's, hard because yeah. sometimes I just want to go shoot my gun in the air towards nothing and then yeah. scream. And if we're playing cards like, against Manny, you might even play the mm-hmm. balls deep into a hauling. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> what? <laughs> what's, you know what we're your, talking about? Go buy cards against Manny. Seriously, what's your four? Number four. We haven't for done enough product advertisement. Is, uh, tonight. I know. Man of Steel. We're not even getting paid for this. I'm going to get pissed off. I'm going to get a lot of people pissed off because a lot of people hate Man of Steel, people and I know get, why they yeah. hate Man of Steel. But screw you. Um, although, if you hate Man of Steel, you need to go watch. Uh, there's another podcast out there. It's not really a podcast, a little mini series put on by Star, the Stars Network called How ah, It Should Have Ended. You're welcome. Yeah, he introduced me to How It Should Have Ended.com. Ermagerd. <laughs> Ermagerd. <laughs> The Man of Steel one is actually one it's of my so favorites. It's so hilarious. It's, it's like, it's, oh, let me tell you what to do. And then they all die. And it's like the movie's two minutes long. <laughs> so, but here's why I liked Man of Steel. Here's why I like Man of Steel. Uh, first of all, I was upset that Russell Crowe was going to be Drell at first. Why? I thought that was a perfect. Because I like Russell Crowe, and I just couldn't wrap my mind around Russell Crowe in Jarrell's until I and then I watched so what it. So what, what Reb here is saying is he's he's sitting his hand out here and he's going. Yeah. Mm. And, and then, then somebody I, gets murdered. Whoo, baby. Hey, what's up? So and then I watched it and I was like, okay, uh, obviously I'm an idiot and I thank you for like proving that I'm an idiot because he was an amazing Jarrell. You know what? I got a lot but of more people than, complaining about not yeah. the Jarrell thing. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, go. People complained about the Paul Kent situation. Yeah. About the Paul Kent, su- the Paul Kent suicide. Yeah. And they were like, Paul Kent was such an asshole. And I have one thing to say. Every time somebody brings anything up to me, comic-wise, I'm just like, oh, comic book movies? Ultimates. And I'm done. They have that. And just because it's a DC universe, it doesn't, doesn't right, matter. Right, right. DC has had so many reboots, retcons, etc. True, true. Y'all can just kiss my ass on it. Because, I mean, Agreed. just because it's not the Paul Kent you know, we've seen so many Paul Kents in the years. If you right. count Lois and Clark, if you count all the books. You add Smallville I mean, to the mix. Yeah, People, for real. You know, I mean, I know it wasn't a movie franchise. But and Costner was, a gr- in my opinion. Kevin Costner Although was he awesome. was a dick. You know, I like, first Whatever. of all, I'm not, gonna, I'm not afraid to admit this. I actually like Kevin Costner. So do but, I. I think, and I think he was an amazing Paul Kent. I think, I, you know, I think he was great. If anybody but, wants to send me Waterworld or the Postman on Blu-ray, please feel free to. Hey, it's good stuff. Yeah. So, Man of Steel. There is one thing I wanted to add, though. The surprise breakout character for me, and and I'm going to say a surprise because Lois I want Lane. not Lois Lane, uh, although I'm in love with her. I'm so um, in love. She's uh, married. I know. It's I ruined. don't care, but it's it's all good. <laughs> Um, for me, and, and I'm going to tell you about another movie for a split second first, and then as to why. Did you see Premium Rush with... Um, oh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Jo- yeah. Absolutely. I thought it was a good... Okay. okay, look, I went into this movie going, oh, it's going to be about bikes. It's it was be awesome. Stupid. It, it was, was really a very good movie. If you like parkour... So, yeah. Dude, it's parkour it's with bikes. Parkour with bikes and a uh, couple hot girls and... That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so the cop, the the, crook, the, the crooked cop, and I, I forget the actor's name. I, and I no feel idea. really bad right now. He plays General Zod Absolutely. in this movie. And when I saw he was General Zod at the very beginning of the movie, I mean, he's, he's introduced. It's not, you know, like, oh, my God, it's, Zod. It's nothing new. Two seconds in the movie, he's General Zod. And I was like, oh, crap. And here's why I was all crap. I didn't think he was a bad actor. I thought he did a good job in Premium Rush. It's just the thing. The few things that I've seen him in now, finding out he's in like what Game oh, of Thrones a, yeah, or something. Yeah, he's in a bunch so of stuff, man. Now I realize I'm an idiot. I was thinking he's not going to be able to carry Zod because Zod is <laughs> General fucking Zod. Yeah, but he rocked it. He rocked the crap out of General Zod. I was I, so that for me, honestly, he's the reason it made my it made my list. I he's enjoy. Okay, well that's that's impressive. I really thought so, Henry. Uh, his last name's near unpronounceable, but because uh, I can never pronounce it properly, Cavill, Cavill, oh, Cavillia, yeah. right, right, whatever, doesn't matter. What's, okay, we what's, apologize. What's your, what's your last? What's your so the rounding out my top five, and even though while well, technically not a movie, it was shown, and you and I actually got in s- to see it in the theater. Was the day of, of the, the doctor. doctor in three D in friggin' three D? So 
<clears throat> for those of we wanted the D. Yeah. So we first of all we saw it here at Green's Tavern on Saturday at the final final <coughs> cast. Final cast? Yeah. I have a final cast. Not like so, I didn't have to convince you to right, come to it. Yeah. I was like, just, I was like, don't, you're not going to be able to I yeah, avoid so the internet for right. three days. So I had this conversation, what, you know, let, let the internet on this now. I was thinking I wasn't going to come to Greens and see, uh, because I was like, no, I really want to see guy. it for the first time in 3D, in the big screen. But I, RJ's like, you're not going to be able to avoid the internet for two and a half days. Nope. And he's right. So screw it. I came and I watched it. Had a great time. And this place was... Oh, dude, it was so packed. It was so packed. It was standing, so packed. Standing room only. It was kind of awesome. It so, was ridiculous. I loved it. Here's why it's my, my... Here's why I made my top five. Even though while it's not technically a movie, because it was shown in theaters, I felt that it qualified. So I'm going to start with definitely that. Definitely qualifies. But the big thing for me and why it made my top five, with hands down, and I know all of the internet Whovians are going to probably laugh at me, best Doctor Who episode ever. Oh, absolutely. H hands down. And, and I can't say that. And not that. just because of Capaldi's staring eyes, although uh, that, that was, was so cool. great. It was great, but because it was just... It was the first story we've seen in two seasons that was amazing. Yeah. And, and then don't get me wrong, I love the last two seasons They've stuff, but good. they had their issues. Doctor Who, Day of the Doctor, just, uh, you know, I, I can't begin to... And I'm a huge Matt Dallas Doctor fan. Uh, Matt, did I just Matt's, say Matt Dallas? You did. I wasn't going to call you down on it. I wow. was going for the hate mail to flow in. <laughs> I'm not, Matt I'm a, Smith? I'm a, I'm a, where the hell did Matt Dallas come from? I'm just going to be over here on the internet while the internet tears you apart. <laughs> uh, I'm not logging into Reddit to talk about how dumb you are at all. I'm just, you just, should believe that guy is an idiot. Yeah. I'm, just, so, I'm sending I'm a my huge, own hate mail. I'm, I'm a huge Matt Smith uh, Doctor <laughs> fan. Um, in fact, he's probably my favorite fan. He, he actually, of the newer Doctor Who's, he might be my favorite one, to be honest with you. Um, and while I hate to admit it, Eccleston is my number two. No, there's nothing wrong with that. He Eccleston, pisses me, but I he mean, pisses me off as, as well, a human being. That, so, we'll save that for another segment. Yeah, we will. We will talk about the 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 hell that is Eccleston later. Should I should I do my my no my we'll listicles? do it. no we'll 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 do it in a minute. So, but I'm, I'm a huge you know a huge fan of of Doctor Hugh uh, of Doctor Hugh Hugh played by I'm Matt, the one drinking Do and Doctor, he's the one who can't Doctor talk. Doctor Hugh by Matt Dallas. Um, <coughs> I'm not cutting this out. This will make the video because oh, it's too God, damn I hope fun. So. so, you know, I, but for me, what made this the most amazing episode ever is it wasn't just Matt Smith. No. It wasn't just David Tennant. It wasn't just John Hurt. All of oh, them God. Together. John Hurt. You know, when, when John Hurt, at the end of last season, you know, in introducing John Hurt as the doctor at the end Timey of the Timey-wimey. I don't know where he gets that. <laughs> just amazing. And it was so awesome to see Billy. Billy back. I love Billy Piper. So many um, people were butthurt, though. They were like, why is it Rose in this? And I'm like, she's in a fucking dimension. Sorry, yeah, dude. She's in the, yeah. Get over yourself. Get exactly. your shit off of here. And not just to bring her in as a subconscious, you know, picture Being. of Rose. Yeah. She was the subconscious. She's Bad Wolf. Yes. Bad. I mean. She was Bad Wolf. And, you, and, and that's, I, a, that's a toss And I knew that. Tie. I knew it immediately. I oh, mean, you, you had to. You could tell immediately the way she was dressed, that look on her face, that whole conversation where she like she says no more like a thousand times to John Hurt. I got giddy. I Go mean, back and watch I the got, episodes. I got giddy. I know. I know. I know. It's I know. It's so weird. It's just, uh, so for <clears> me, that's, and I got to be honest with you, even though it's number five on my list, it was, it's only number five on my list because... I felt weird putting it number one. Well, because it's not, it's not a movie. Because it's, it's not, not a movie. Because it's not But it deserves to be talked about. My top five right now. Top top movie, top nerd movie, top geek movie, whatever the hell you want to call it. Iron Man 3. <clears throat> a lot of people were so mad about this movie. They were mad because all the suits blew up at the end of the movie. I don't care. I don't you care. You know what either. I loved about that movie? I love Robert is it Downey wasn't Jr. about Is it Iron weird Man? that I want to have sex with Robert Downey I would Jr.? Totally, I would totally bottom or top RDJ right now. Yeah. No questions asked. <laughs> no cocaine even involved. No Burger King sandwich. No nothing. So, I, I, and not to mention the fact that it's he's Iron Man. The thing about it was but that I'm, was not an Iron Man. It was, Iron it was Man. not a movie about Iron Man. I know. It was about Tony Stark. It really was. And that's what I fell in love with I know. immediately. I, I totally agree. I um, totally agree. That's the short list, and a lot of people complained about the whole Mandarin thing. But don't worry. Marvel's already spoken and said that the Mandarin saw the actual Mandarin is right. coming. Yeah. He saw that he was getting some bad press, and he yep. will show up. Possibly not going to throw it out there. Avengers okay. 3. <clears throat> yeah, just throw it because we're not getting another <laughs> Iron Man movie if we ever get one. We won't see it until like 2020 or some crap yeah, like it's, that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, They're so be, planned ahead. I know. Uh, number Deuce, of course, we already talked about it with Star Trek Into Darkness. Awesome movie. Love that movie. Three was kick ass too. He didn't see it. Yeah, so I, I, have, to, I have to be honest. I have to, I, I'm, let's I, be honest. I, I, let's be honest. 
Yeah, so, of course, that, that line comes from a movie I have seen. So I've seen Pitch Perfect, but I haven't seen Kick-Ass, too. Pitch I Perfect to, is great. I'll do the Cup I, song I, right now. I, I, I love – it's a great movie. But and, and I hate to admit this to the Internet, but I have yet to see Kick-Ass 2. Kick-Ass 2 was great. I watched it on flight. I recently but went I to New Jersey. I did see a 40-year-old middle-aged man dressed as Hit Girl in Dragon Con this year. Does, Why are you bragging about does that? Does that count? Does that what count? has been seen oh, did you see cannot him? be unseen. Had, had the beard with the gray and – it was it was bad walking around like. Anyways, um, point being, Kick-Ass 2 was a great movie. It didn't get a lot of attention in theaters, and I know that Jim Carrey did a whole lot of bashing on it after he'd cashed his paycheck. Of course. But the thing about the movie is it was absolutely fantastic, and it was fan service, but it still had an actual story to it. I was really shocked because a lot of people talked about how it didn't have a story, and it felt very yep. not cohesive, but it was play-by-play -play for me. Awesome. And I kind of fell in love with it. the ending of it is what made it for me, but there's a lot of there's a lot of build up, and okay. it succeeded. I wish it had well, made more money because I know it. we won't see another one. The fourth one, Evil Dead the remake. Evil Dead the remake was absolutely phenomenal, and it got so much press that now they're yeah. doing a second Evil Dead. I know. They're doing the second Army of Darkness, and then they're doing a tie-in movie with both Ashes. Is it weird that I'm more excited for Army of Darkness than I am Evil Dead though? Oh, I think my laptop just died. Yep. That's what you get for running a... What is that piece of crap you got over uh, there? This is called a four-year piece of crap. Sony Vio. Uh, whatever, dude. This what, battery what, what, is dead. What geek... I don't know my what fifth geek movie. geek his own weight is, is going to be Sony Vio? I don't know what my fifth movie was. Oh, it was Retaliation. It was G.I. Joe Retaliation. It was shit. No, it was not. It was amazing. I liked it. It was a Joe. lot better than the it, first it one. Didn't, I, it didn't make my turd, list. But still shit. No. But sugar and turd, but still shit. Don't listen to her. It was amazing. It had The Rock in it. Uh, and Channing Tatum got dead. He got dead real quick. I was real happy. But, oh, now it restarts. Now it's like, oh, let me just come back. Uh, the big thing about that movie was it was the perfect G.I. Joe movie, Continuous in my opinion. Because, no, would you hear me out? No. Jesus, come on. You're like the two dudes in the Muppet Theater house, just like, except you don't have as I many funny jokes. I wouldn't say they're half bad. They're all bad. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Jokes. Um, jokes, they have them. Point being, G.I. Joe Retaliation, in my opinion, in my opinion, Mm. Peanut Gallery was fantastic. It was a great action movie. It had a mediocre story. And if you were ever a fan of the cartoon, no one can complain. It was absolutely that. They were one Sergeant Slaughter away from being the cartoon at that point. Yes. What was our runner up? For t because we have the same one. So for me, you know, I was thinking about this for a while. And, uh, well, I'll let you. Okay, our runner up, and I'm pretty sure it's the same one. It is, right? I think so. R.I.P.D. Ryan Reynolds and um, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges, fantastic film. I'm Nobody saw of, it. I'm dudes. actually a fan of both. I'm even. I'm even one of the seven people on the internet that actually liked Green Lantern. You know what? I didn't. I didn't dislike Green Lantern. I didn't say I loved it, but I just didn't hate it. I would watch it again if you asked me. Right. Right. What? Now that said, I'm not a huge Ryan Reynolds fan. I'm a huge Ryan Reynolds fan. Um, I, hey, Ryan, Reynolds, I Ryan did, if you're out there, I did like him in X Men with the uh, with the blades for arms. Oh, that was you've got to be shit. With the tag was, was like, hi, was, my name it, is. It, I'm going to bleep this out. It was out a level of that. cheese that you can't. No, it's great. It was a great level Blade three was great. Yeah, it, one and one three two is how mine goes. Yeah. One, we don't talk yeah. about the Wolverine movie. That didn't ever happen. We don't talk about Wolverine Origins. Okay. It never happened. What about the other one? It did not. No. no well, uh, but yeah. So RPD. RPD. You know, if you like I, Men in Black, I, had, I yeah. It, Men in Black. I, how did you put it? Men it's in Black, Men in Black with, ghosts. with ghosts. Yeah. That's and what I, it is. I totally agree. It's Men in Black with ghosts. It's the same dynamic. The only difference is Jeff Bridges slightly more crotchetier. Crotchetier. Oh, I, I guess. would say he's less lovable less than lovable. Tommy Lee Jones is. Yeah. Right. Definitely more yeah. of an ass. Yeah. Uh, but still funny as all Hilarious hell. is as Loses all hell. his hat. Where the hell my hat go? So, the thing I mean, with the just, hat was great. Yeah. And and the guy who, the guy who, I can't remember the actor's name, but. Kevin Bacon. No, I'm talking about. Because he was the bad guy. No, yeah, I, I was going to talk about their, what, how we oh, see Oh, because we're not going to talk world. about the fact that Kevin no, Bacon is a bad guy? We're talk, hey, it's, it's okay. Buddy. All right, I'm just. No, I wanted excited. to talk about the fact that Ryan Reynolds was. He's low pan. He, he was low pan. Yeah, for. If you don't know, go watch Big Trouble. If Little you don't China. know who Lopan is, do not watch this podcast. I'm, I know I just alienated, alienated so many half of the internet. a whole generation right now. If you, no, I will say this: if you don't know who Lopan is, uh, do you know at least who Kurt Russell is? And if not, go look him up. Like go that's going to help anybody? Then go find a movie Roadhouse. called Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> go find a movie called Big Trouble in Little, in Little China. China. Great film. Epic, it epic kid. 80s film. It is. There's it's it's a typical 80s cheese. If it's Goonies 80s for 80s. adults. Yeah. 
That guy blowing up. That's exactly the first thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Just, it's such a great scene. It's fantastic. But and then he's also if you play Diablo three for you kids, uh, the voice of Poe right. in, in or no the voice not Poe. Poe was the is his character yes. in uh, the movie Kung Fu. That is correct. Panda. <coughs> what's what's the Diablo three name? Because he voices. Black. Well, that's Jack Black in that. Yeah, but um, no, his Jack Black's dad is Low Pan. Yes. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about and his name. Oh, is the duck. The duck character. Yeah, the duck character. Uh, the, guy, think, he, the, the duck who runs Ping, the restaurant. Yeah, Ping, um, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but he's also vo he also voices a character in uh, Diablo, Diablo Three, and not Mighty Ducks. Yeah, w God no, don't watch that quack, movie. Quack, quack, quack. Okay, no, I'm sorry. Uh, um, yeah, no, it wasn't. No, we're not really, talking really about it. No, no, we're not. So, but anyway, so yeah, for me, I, I totally agree. Runner up. And worth it's worth if you haven't seen RIPD. Do it. You, you're you missing just, out. It's on DVD. It's on Redbox. Yeah, Pick can, it up for a dollar. You can't say wrong. You, you can't you say really, no you for really a dollar. Can't. Yeah, absolutely. Unless I you agree. leave it on sitting on your coffee table for a now, week, which is how Redbox gets you. With all of that, I want to talk about. For me, one of the more and I, I was really looking forward to seeing this movie. I'm gonna add one more runner up, Elysium. By the way, I just want to mention that movie because it was awesome. I'm a, I'm a jerk because I haven't seen it yet. Even it didn't it didn't it wasn't on my list. I, I, I it was a great movie. It was one of my other runner ups too. Uh, but I want to talk about the maybe maybe not the worst movie, but if it's not, it's pretty damn close for the year. For me, I was really disappointed because I had a lot of high hopes for this movie. I'm a Will Smith fan. I actually like his little son. I mean, you were born and raised on the playground. I was. I was, I was. So I'm from Philadelphia, born and raised. <coughs> Playgrounds where I spent most of my days. I'm not going to continue. I'm going to let you. Right. I'm going to let you do your thing. So uh, After Earth. If you haven't figured it out by now, we're, we're we're talking about After Earth. I was looking forward to this movie. I'm a huge Will Smith fan. Uh, even even in movies that were crap, I usually like. Well, I usually like him in it. Like Wild Wild West, for example, shit movie. I, I loved, loved Wild Wild West. I loved it. Was but it was you it was to, terrible. It, it was, was hokey, but it's movie. great. Um, this no, there are no redeeming qualities to not after a one. Earth. But this movie, total crap. Total, absolute, just bad. Airball. Bad, but bad, bad. So what see, was your... What? I had a worse movie, and yeah. I'm going to get so much crap about this. Like, uh -oh. people who watch this will be upset. And Damn it'll you. mostly be chicks who like to see fucking... Um, oh, what's his name? The guy who plays Thor? Uh... He is a pretty man. He, they, you just want to see him take he, his shirt he's off. A, he's a pretty That's man. That's all he's you a want. beautiful man. Uh, you just want to see him take his shirt so off. That's your really worst what movie is. is obviously... It's Thor 2 The yeah. Dark World! I've read comics for 12 years. It's I almost not very fell, good. I almost fell asleep it's, it's, twice. It, it's not very, well, and it was yeah. so convoluted that even because I've read Thor comics for so long, yeah. I couldn't follow what's going on. Loki couldn't follow what was going no on. No one could movie. follow what was going on in that movie. It was bad. It was it was It was bad and they should feel bad. Zoidberg. Zoidberg quotations. Bad. Hashtag. <laughs> so it was real bad. Uh, so that's that's our that's our, that's our movie for 2013. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm looking. To, I am, and let's just look into the future for a second. There is a couple of there is a couple there is a couple of movies. I'm See what happened was what no. hap what happened is there's a couple <laughs> there are a couple of movies in 2014 that I'm really looking forward to. Um, one is, and you're gonna laugh. You won't laugh at me because you're looking forward to it too. Is actually the Veronica Mars movie. Love. So I, need this. I uh, I backed it on Kickstarter, and uh, as a result, I backed it enough that that Kristen Bell follows me on Twitter now. He backed it enough that they actually made the movie. Yeah. He actually gave his life savings to I make did. that I, movie. I really, I really did. So. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan. I'm an unexpectedly huge fan of that show, and I, here's why I'm going to mm. say that. If you would just give me the premise of Veronica Mars, I'd have been like, uh, like eight it years, seven eight years ago, I would be like, eh. it does. It's stupid. And then you watch it. And then I watched it, and uh, I I got really into this movie. I got so into it. TV show. So I'm really looking forward to that one, and I think that counts in the geek culture a little bit. It so has to compared to how big of a following. I'm it also has? looking forward to, and I wasn't for, and I wasn't until I started seeing trailers. I'm looking forward to Captain America. I'm not gonna lie. I got Captain America. I got the new Spider Man, and, and I got. Yeah. Days of Future Past, the new X Men, Brian Singer coming back. Yeah, that'll Give be me good. Give me dabs too. on it, right there. Boom, man. absolutely. So you know, I mean, there. I think I, I'm looking forward to to this time next year. What our next top five is going to be, and more importantly, it's which one of difficult. these movies that we think are going to be awesome and also they're terrible that turn into After Earth. Yeah, it's, what is it's the it's next After bad. Earth for 2014? It's going to be bad. So one of the last things I want to talk about today, Ashton, is the stuff that we lost in 20. Can we just have a little? Oh, the things that we lost in what 2013. Da -da. And the first thing I want to talk about is this one, by the way, one of the biggest outcries on the Internet when Google announced Google Reader. no more Google Reader. <clears throat> that I, was a big deal. It was, it was a huge deal because 
I'm one of the people. I didn't freak out. I never used because I had already transitioned off of Google Reader. I'm I use Feedly now anyway. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people still use Google Reader. It's a huge application. Um, I mean, I get my news now, but I don't know. God, I, Feedly and on. It's like now, you can't use RSS feeds or something. Yeah, now on here, you know, this is the the iPad Mini. Love this little thing. And on this, I've got Pocket, which I use for, and I also have Instapaper. Um, I've got Flipboard. I mean, there's tons of ways that you can get your news. And we're going to talk about this later. I want to talk about it in this episode, but we're probably not going to have time. We'll this probably do the, it. We'll probably do it next episode. Yeah, this is the. <laughs> but this is the new iPad Mini with Retina. So, w I want to talk about Google Reader because it was just really sad. I mean, it's although for me it's not the saddest on the list. I'll get to the saddest one for me later. But Google Reader definitely the one of the, the biggest things on the internet. So, well, if you're going to talk about things that we lost, I'd like to talk about things that we gained. Oh, loss and gain. See, it's the circle of life, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This circle of life. Pause for intro of music. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> uh, the, the thing right about music. it is, we gained new smartphones because we did now gain it has new become. Uh, it, speaking of a circle of life, we are everybody seems to be on the, the Apple one year cycle now. The Apple one year cycle, and now the Samsung. <coughs> we're going to release nine thousand versions of the same Samsung cycle. Uh, people, a lot so of people. You get the Galaxy S four, then the Galaxy S four Mega, the Galaxy S four Mini. There's so many, many that Galaxy I don't even I don't even know anymore. Like there used to just be one. There was like here's the Galaxy and a fucking number, and we're right. done. Yeah. Now it's not like that. It's, and, it's and, and I okay. <clears throat> You're a Microsoft guy who uses a lot of Apple products. I am. And I'm a Microsoft guy who uses two Apple products. I love the iPhone. I got a 5S this year. I did Apps, as well. Yeah, he got one too. I love it. I, I love it. It's fantastic. 5S. I got the 5S specifically for that little bit. I little did too. I'm right not going to lie. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. Because I can thumbprint <clears throat> login. And, and, now, and it's so the easy. The problem with that, though, I will say this, is I've grabbed this iPad mini now. Why won't it unlock? Times, and I'm holding my thumb <clears throat> down over the lock screen. And of course, it doesn't unlock because there's no fingerprint scanner in it. I'm like, oh. But the thing is, everybody has jumped bandwagon from the two-year release as right. far as cell phones go. Cell phone production, smartphone production. I can't say cell phones. It's not yeah, like we're handing really, out Nokia's They're not now. cell phones. Smartphone, <laughs> smartphone production has increased. It is kind by of. It is kind of. Well, when, and there's when, so many players <coughs> with Android. Finally, anybody can have really it, getting period. out there, getting the mass production. You've got. I mean, it used to just be LG, HTC, and Samsung. Yeah. Now, now it's, it's Motorola. Now it's Motorola. Cricket phones have them. Right. Like, and and, and uh, Huawei, Huawei, or Huawei, or everybody's the hell it is, making you know? it. Yeah. It's, and I guess that's my kind of issue because I don't have any problem with Android. I think it's cool. I think it's great. You want to reach like your Android. phone? Do your I thing. Have, I have a Galaxy S3 as well. So I mean, I, they do, make, I use both. They make so much of it. That you've got so many OSs across platform, and, and they're all different. <coughs> None of them are updatable, and I will agree with you right there. Like my, you know, my the S firmware about my it S3 kills is, me. is still pretty current. Um, it's what I use for for work at AT and T. But uh, you know, the biggest thing for me is exactly that. A friend, and it's not just by the way, phones, anything Android. Nope, anything this Android. This is my biggest period. problem with. If, unless you buy a Nexus line something, you're not really guaranteed that you're going to get. Yeah, you get whatever, what you get. Whatever. Uh, oh, it came with Jelly Bean. You want Kit enjoy Kat? that. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about you your You get life. jelly bean, period. You get jelly bean. Done. Be glad you got jelly bean, because this poor bastard, he, he's still eating gingerbread. Well, I went to New Jersey, and people were like, hey, we want to get our email on our phones. Right. We don't support Androids officially. Right. We do, but we don't. And people are like, oh, why can't I get my mail on it? And I thought it was an issue with our server, so I went and checked a bunch of things. Sure. It's because a lot of those phones, even if they're a year old, don't do hardware encryption. Right. And our all of our settings are How required. How do you do hardware encryption? I mean, That's my thing. Apple's been doing it since almost day one. Yeah. Like no, I'm pretty sure the 3GS when the 3GS yeah. came out a bajillion years ago in 2008. You know, it's funny you say a bajillion years ago because it does feel like a long time ago. It does, but it's you know, only the like yeah. launched. 2007, 2006. Yeah, 2007. Yeah, that's like that's like. Not that long ago. Six years ago? So it's funny when people talk about how Seven Apple, almost. like Apple's not innovative. They suck. Shh. And granted, I'm not going to say that they haven't had some innovation issues in the last couple of years because I'm not a fanboy. I you will, pay the Apple tax. Is the you do pay problem. the Apple tax. Although I will tell you this, you know, I have a MacBook. This is a 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro. Still works great. It's. I I only I want to buy one of the new 15-inch uh, MacBook Retinas that just came They're out. They're gorgeous. The problem is I I. Die. This one won't die. That's yeah. That's <laughs> like every the every Windows laptop I've ever had they only die. makes it like two 12, years. 13 months, two 14 years, months, maybe. two years. If you're really yeah. lucky, this one it's t it's going to turn three in January. Wow. It runs as good as the day and for a Mac. That's and it runs as good as the day I got it. I got no reason to get rid of it except that I want the new MacBook. So what's so, what's the next thing we lost other than your so, MacBook, yeah, which so won't die? 
that the, the won't die. Winamp. It really whips the llama's ass. Oh. Well, not anymore. It doesn't because apparently. America Online, who bought Winamp, for those of you who don't remember, like, what, 10 years ago they can, now. They, just, they didn't like, want to pay for the yeah. bandwidth fees, so they canned it. Bastards. It's okay. I went and downloaded a, a, like a bajillion. I downloaded every I'm version sure, before yeah, it went and away. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to go to, like, oldversions.com and Absolutely. probably still get it. But, I checked. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that's sad because Winamp, Winamp is it has a connection that... I don't use any other player other than that and VLC. I refuse to. Yeah. Well, I grew up using I mean, Winamp. I, I don't use Winamp anymore, but which is, I guess, why it's gone. But, yeah. you know, for me, Winamp has that, there's a visceral connection that people have to Winamp because <clears throat> it's like when you hear that Tom's Diner song. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Suzanne Vega, Tom's Diner, the reason that song is internet famous <clears throat> Is because, <clears throat> and I forget the guy's name now. But I couldn't think of the, it to the, save my the, life. The, the two guys that were coming up with the encoding technology for the MP3 back in ninety. That was the first one they did. Whatever it was, that they was used the, her song. Was, yep. They used it over and over and over again to to see. All right, does it still sound okay? No, it sounds like crap. Let's change this. Yep. Um, Winamp was like the first player I ever used. So well, it was the first customizable player you could yeah, get. Yeah, period. Yeah, and it was, awesome. was open source in a way because you could so throw up everything. Absolutely. Otherwise, you just had Windows and Media the visualization player. customizations absolutely. and all kinds of stuff. It was just it was just great. And and of course, the first thing you did when you installed it, it would autoplay the Winamp. It really whips, whips the, the llama's ass. ass. And that's just stupid and funny, and it's nostalgia. So it, That's the biggest thing. It's nostalgia. So we lost Now, Winamp. another thing that we've gained that I don't necessarily agree with yet, uh -oh. but it will get there, uh -oh. smartwatches. Don't get me wrong. I, have since, I don't have it on me, but I do have a Pebble. I'm not going to oh lie. My God. Ever I, since I was a kid, I, I've I, wanted I, a Dick Tracy watch. Well, and so then, for me, I wanted to be Michael Knight. In fact, you know, when I was in radio, so when I was in radio, I actually took the last name Knight. So I was Steve Knight. I had a remix show on a, on a hip-hop. And on it was probably on at like station. 2 a.m. It was on at 7 to midnight. Okay, see, that's seven, perfect yeah, for it. 7 to midnight, remix Steve show. Steve Knight at yeah. night. And I was Steve Knight on the Saturday Night X. Yeah. So, you know. Well, the thing is, I wanted to be Dick Tracy, and then when who I got a little old, Dick yeah, Tracy. I mean, who doesn't want to be Dick Tracy? It's sex with Madonna. If you tell me that you were born in '86 and you didn't walk around with that Dick Tracy lip balm know, wristwatch thing, know, you're a liar. Yeah, you are. You were an absolute liar. And then when the '90s hit, and you got the Power Rangers, like do 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 do, I wanted that so little, bad. I, <clears throat> so I'm a little too old for Power Rangers. It's okay. I think. I think that's the problem. Everything in the '90s, though, every cartoon, I didn't watch it as well. Every live action series, so. even Beetleworks, which was terrible. Yeah. All had awesome. Watches, Let's freaking talk to each other on. And yeah. a lot of people think it's stupid. And if if kid me met real me and found out that I had a phone, they could do video calls. But and I don't what? ever use it. I know. But that kid would beat the crap out he of me. He would beat the crap. He out of He would you. beat the living what do you shit mean, out of me. What do you mean me? you don't use FaceTime? What the hell's wrong with you? I never use it. Like it's, it's rare. FaceTime. I know. But the thing right. they'd be like, "What do you mean Skype? What is this Skype that you speak of?" Yeah. So. Me up. Yeah, so smartwatches definitely in their infancy. I totally agree. I have a Pebble. I've been using it for a while. I don't have it on today because I use it when I, when I when I go jogging. No, no, no. I have I and have I a, love it for that. You know. I have a smart thing that I, the smart right, exercise band right. that I wear at work. Well, that's to send telemetry and stuff. This is specifically you know I can like you, somebody calls. Switch I can, song, I can do call, the call everything. From the phone and I get a little. I get you know yeah. I work for the foundation of law and government. I mean you know, just, it just they did it. It really gets me in the cockles of the heart. I, I, I agree. Be with you. But the thing is, with computers, okay. Do you guys remember when when uh, two core processors came out? The the dual cores. Oh, well, and then like a no, year no, no, later, no. multi-threaded processor. The very first hyper. But like seriously, like, within what? six months, we were we were dual on. core, then we were four core, then we were eight Octo core. core. I mean, we got twelve core and sixteen core. It's and, and that's and that's the thing. Core Xeons. Well, it's the irony is that the like Intel is like, yeah, we got a thousand core coming for you like five years from now, and I'm like. So, like, that, that, that's the biggest thing. So what's another thing we lost? All right. So it's funny because we both talked about the fact that we gained the iPhone 5S and, of course, 5C. We lost the iPhone 5 for the first time it's gone. in Apple's history. They, they discontinued they a product. They killed the immediate product. Yep. And here is why. So a lot of people are like, well, hope they do that. And, of course, they kept the 4S. They yeah, the cheap well, one, right? But, well, that's Here's, a cheaper cheaper one. Here is why. <clears throat> well, the 5 is the 5C, ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't realize that Apple threw one over your eyes... The new the 4Ss are also getting the shoved in. Right. But if, the, you, if you buy a brand new 4S. If you buy a brand new 4S. But the, the hardware of the iPhone 5C is an iPhone 5. True. All it's they still did a piece was of they crap. stripped the back off of it and they put those ugly ass colors and then they gave it that... Hey, it worked for the iPod. 
You know, it didn't though. I don't well, like those iPods. People either. bought the crap I don't like those, those iPods either though. People bought those the person, things. But yeah, like so we, we lost the iPhone five, which actually was good for me because I sold my iPhone five for four right, to yeah, like four hundred exactly, right, bucks. Yeah. You know? So which paid for my five S. So. And, and I'm not going to lie to you guys. The, the C in it stands for crap. I don't care if they say it stands for color. Those crap things are pieces. Or cheap, whichever. Um, our CEO got one, and within a week, I was like, why don't you want to get this, the 5S? He was like, oh, it's $100 more expensive. And but I was like, a thumbprint scanner and a better well, processor. And the thing about it was is that he bought it, and within, of a, awesome. within a week, he had destroyed this thing. Now, I've seen a lot of destroyed iPhones. I've destroyed two myself and put them back together, mind you. But he destroyed it beyond putting it back together. There's no putting it back together. He dropped it in a parking lot, or at least that's the story I was given. Ran over his car. Oh my god, it looked horrible. Yeah. It looked so bad. Very sad. The worst part was that his alarm kept going off every 15 <laughs> minutes. Awesome. All, All right, right, so <clears throat> what have we gained? Another thing that we've gained. Uh, in case you haven't caught where I was going with this, we have the smart ring now. It is uh, a Kickstarter yeah. that it was fully funded, and it is a ring that goes on whatever finger you want to. But if you like it, you better put a ring on it. I like smart technology. I, I gotta admit, I'm I'm a little psyched for the smart ring, dude. I think it's an awesome idea. Yeah, it's yeah. Bluetooth I'm, connectability I'm, on Bluetooth 4.0. Right. It looks like a baller ring. Like I I heard about yeah. it on the radio. I was like, this is gonna look stupid. I went no, to look it up. No, it's badass. It's a ring. It fits and it's got a full color. It's got a yeah. full screen right yep. here. It's not full color or anything, but it's right. enough to give you a digitalization. And it can flash when you get yep. calls. It can do. It can show you your texts. And you know, it people can, are gonna write like open source apps to oh, make it absolutely. Like, like print like you know, put it on your finger, flipping you off with a nice. With Flip, greeting, no, know? it'll be like exhibit. Hey, dog, I heard you like flipping people off. Well, now you can flip people off while, while you're flipping, flipping people, people off. off. There's gonna be a fucking tiny finger on that exactly. flipping somebody off. Sounds awesome. I it's love it. It's a twofer. Tiny, tiny, awesome rings. All right. Here's another thing that we lost this year, and 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 this one also has a warm place in the cockles of my heart. Alta Vista. Uh, uh, for those of you who are, are were not born before 1999, when when Google took over right. all search engines, Alta Vista was. Like Netscape, it was. Oh I mean, it man, was, it was. It you was, just hurt me a little bit right I there. I know, I know, right? I mean, these were the staples of the internet. You used Netscape Navigator, not Communicator, because it was a giant piece of shit. Mm -hmm. But you used Netscape Navigator. You set your default search engine to Alta Vista. Alta Vista. That was what we used back was, in the day. Yes, it was the search engine. To be of fair, all search if you guys remember the Yahoo internet used, pre used Alta Vista. That's what I was going to say. Results. Yeah, I was going to say you think that you didn't use Alta Vista. You used Yahoo. Well, the joke was that Yahoo yeah. had a deal with Alta Vista to pull from Alta Vista. That's right. So Alta Vista still got page hits when you went to, to, right. to Yahoo stuff. Just like now Bing gets paid when you use Yahoo. So, And by the way, you were talking earlier. He saw I used Bing. He was like, what are you using Bing? Oh, look, I love Google. Don't get me wrong. But Google doesn't pay me to search. They, I got nothing. I get, I, I get <clears throat> Amazon gift cards for using Bing. He gets Amazon gift cards because it's so bad of a service that they have to pay you to use it. That's why. You know what? I'm when okay you have with, to do 30. I'm, I'm okay with that. That's the that. reason they're paying you. He has to do 30 searches to find one thing. But I'm okay with that. God. All right, so we lost Alta Vista. What's next? What do we gain? Smart everything. Everything smart is everything. smart now. We got smart TVs. We got smart phones. We got smart pads. We got smart rings. You can't buy a TV. That I'm gonna have, anymore. dude. I'm gonna have it next year. I'm gonna have Marty McFly shoes. The new Apple TV. Oh, those will be bad. At and, the, and the jacket. Your jacket is dry. I'm telling you, uh, it's gonna like be a it. thing. But no, I'm sorry, Apple, new, new Apple. There's a new TV. Apple TV coming next year. It's gonna be an actual television. Like, now we were gonna talk to you guys about the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four tonight, but. You know, we're not going to do that tonight. We're, we're going to push it off to the next push one. It off. But the new Apple TV, I think right now that what the two gaming companies are worried about, they're not worried about Nintendo. They're not worried about they're each worried other. About Apple. They're worried about Apple. And I tell you who else needs to worry about Apple is Roku. So Apple's launched a few new apps. The 3 week. was on sale the other day yeah. for 60 bucks. Uh, by the way, if you don't have a Roku, it's honestly Get worth one. it. It's the greatest. It's device. worth it. It's fantastic. But once Apple, once Apple TV opens up to an Apple an Apple app store for the Apple TV, it's gonna be Roku's over. dead. End all be all. Yeah, and Roku is going to dead because the Roku 3 and the Apple TV are Priced identically at ninety nine dollars when they're not on sale. The Apple I have TV both. Works I, I have both. I love the Roku three. I love my Apple TV. I use the Roku three more because it has more apps, you know. But I got HBO Go now on the Apple TV. It added ABC. They have, or, yeah, I was gonna know. say they have ABC. They have, they have the, HBO. They have they Hulu. ESPN, they have Netflix. ESPN. And they've got even now Disney for the people with kids. They've got mm -hmm. Disney, Disney Junior, and another one. Because sometimes you, you know, want to watch Hannah Montana when she wasn't hashtag Team Pork. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I I think Roku's in trouble. I I think they they better watch out. And they cannot I love, come out. I if they Roku, if they expend so. the money to make a new hardware piece, if they make a Roku four. 
Apple's going to release the big Apple TV, and I have a feeling it's coming next year. The TV is coming next year. I don't know if the App Store will it's, come next year or not. I don't though. know. I think that you they're think gonna, so? I think they're going to launch a multi-platform App Store. Okay. And it'll just be over. I'm okay. And with I that. think that they're going to launch a motion remote. Well, you know, they did buy what was the name of that company? I know they yeah. they, they they bought that company. The, guy, was the people the were buying yeah. Connect, right? The, the Connect, original yeah. Connect, yeah. So, and so. I don't think they're going to do a camera. If they do a camera, they're going to do the. But Wii I'd be all right with a little Minority <clears throat> Report action in my Apple TV. My my thing about yeah. it is, if you can play Angry Birds with your kids on a TV screen. Which you can do with a Roku, by the way. Babysitter. FYI. That's a babysitter. Yeah, but if, if it's an Apple product, yeah. all those rich kids who have Apple TVs I out there. Th it's, uh, it's true. That's very true. You play Angry Birds on your TV, you're done. So, one more thing that we lost this year. Lava Bit. Now, you might be going, Don't look hell? at me, because I don't even know what, what that is. What the hell is Lava Bit? Well, you may not know what Lava Bit is, but I bet if I say Snowden, you'll know what I'm talking about. Government well, stuff. Yeah, he worked for the he worked for the NSA. Yeah. he's been leaking stuff. The well, NISA. The NISA. He used LavaBit as his encrypted email service. No. Oh. And of course, once he started releasing stuff, the government went to LavaBit, started pressuring them, and the founder of LavaBit, and instead of handing gone. it over, he just shut down. Instead of handing his servers over, he just shut the business down. And then one, uh, just a quick branch of that one. And then one more Google product, Google Checkout. That was the surprise for me. It came to Google Store, though. No. I came to Google Store. Uh, but no, but, dude, but it's cool. But it's uh, cool because now they're doing the Google-supported uh, buyers like uh, Rackets. I know, I know. Well, they're doing that because they realized the Amazon was kicking their ass in payment services. And now they're destroying air. They kind of are. So I, I, I've been giving everything that we've gained this year. And I'm going to give you something we've lost. He won't uh, agree with me on this. Uh oh you're not going to like it. Uh -oh. I know you're going to hate it. Probably. I am a pirate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost I'm not I am not a he's pirate. He's not. I we lost ISO Hunt this year. You're about to lose the pirate bay too, by the way. No, we're not. They actually are on an island now. <laughs> Yeah, didn't they get an, so, like, a, like their 15th yeah, domain got, name recently? Yeah, they did. It took me a minute to find it the other day. But the point Aww. is, we lost ISO Hunt, And we didn't just lose it in America. I used to be able to proxy out and go to ISO Hunt. No big deal. Well, ISO Hunt has been forced due to the fact multiple that, judgments the fact across countries. I don't know ISO Hunt. So for those seven people out there that don't know what the hell he's talking about. Torrenting. There's this. There's a sect of the internet. Now, I will first of all say that back in back in the day, and the and, and this is before he's not fully innocent. Don't back back before and, and before it was technically illegal because no laws had yet been written. Um, I actually had one of the largest FTP sites on the internet for MP3s. You know, it's cooler than a million dollars. Ten million. That's dollars. right. I had I how many songs I had, but in, at the time I had about forty gigabytes devoted to MP3s. Now, that might, you guys might go, I'll go. No, 40 gigs, oh, that's not a big deal. This I'm is, talking this about is, 1997, yeah. people. This is like early 90s where right. having a gig period was a lot. You were like, I'll never need this much. Yeah. So um, so I'm not going to say I never did that. Th but, you know, for somebody like me, and I have a software development company now. I've, I, I work for at and I've worked for Microsoft. He's the man. You know, I you know touring the East Coast. I, I have to respect intellectual property is what I'm getting at. I, so am, I respect intellectual property. I don't steal movies. I don't steal music. I don't steal television shows. And I don't steal software. I pay for cable. Uh, I, I, I do it when cable. they're on DVD and everybody's already been paid. I'm just saying. Yeah. We're going to have this debate. But it's going to be another it, show. It, it, that'll be its own show. Yeah, we won't have that conversation now, but that will definitely be its own segment. So those are things that we've lost. Those are things that we've gained in 2013. Smart, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see next year what we lose, won't it? My virginity? Uh, I'm hoping. Free will. Got to get out of your parents' basement first, I buddy. I know. So it, uh, that's our show. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say <laughs> except that that's it. Uh, well, I know a, what to say. It's called a train wreck. It is a train, train wreck. That is literally wreck. the word right <laughs> here. So we well, hope Paul you enjoyed Walker it did. as much as you. Aw, we do hope you enjoyed it as much as you possibly could. Uh, he's RJ. That's Rev. And we hope you stick around. The stupid podcast. Check us out. We'll be back next week. Deuces. Aces. Oh God. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs>